Hello all. We will wait until other people will come and we're going to start the talk. Okay, thank you. Hi everyone. Hi. My name is Hi. Rashida. Hi. Welcome, to Welcome to webinar to series Web by Masa University. Masa. Today's talk is going to be delivered by Dr. Shinto Amiri from Faculty of Engineering and Built Environment, Masa University. Before that, I'm going to uh, tell you a brief information about Dr. Shinto Amiri, the speaker for today. Uh, Dr. Shinto Amiri is a lecturer and also a research and postgraduate coordinator for Masa University. He's graduated from UTM and have PhD in civil and geotechnical engineering. He has eight years experience in industry and as well as four years experience as academician. And Dr. Shinto Amiri will be delivered the talk title Mandalay, uh, uh, research for advanced uh, preparation for advanced research. And um, please welcome Dr. Shinto. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Rashida. Uh, Ms. Rashida is one of my good colleagues in Massa University. Thank you so much. Okay, so, uh, well, good morning, everyone. Actually, morning in Malaysia. So, here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, I'm so grateful that I am having you all here. So uh, this is the second series of my talk on Mendeley. And this is the Mendeley for Advanced Research Application. It is useful for all the all researchers around the world, all final year graduate, uh, final year actually uh, students, master PhD students, those that are uh, doing research, writing papers. Um, doing the thesis, so uh, I hope that this would be useful for all of you. Well, uh, we are waiting for some other people. Now we have uh, 35 people here. Okay, without any further ado, I will start it. Okay, so uh, good day, everyone. This is Dr. Shin from the Faculty of Engineering and Built Environment, Master University. Uh, welcome to this webinar on Mendeley for Advanced Research application. So let me share my screen with you so we can start the, the talk. <clears throat> well, um, by the way, before uh, I start, I need to tell you that uh, my colleagues uh, will share a link, or later, yeah, they will share a link on the comment, which is going to be the survey of this webinar. I would be really appreciated if all of you uh, go through that survey and uh, let us know 
that which part we can improve more. Okay, let me I just adjust the screen. Um, maybe. Okay. There we go. Okay. So once again, welcome to this webinar on Mendeleev. This presentation is going to cover some basic and advanced on Mendeley and what Mendeley is. So how it can help to improve your research and writing process and how you actually can use it. So this is the general overview of what we are going to cover in this presentation. So let me kick off and start off with what Mendeley is. As you all know, Mendeley is a research workflow tool and the academic social network that helps you organize your documents and references. And uh, Mendeley helps you to collaborate with your fellow researchers online by joining and working together in a group. <clears throat> and later I'll also show you how Mendeley can provide you with uh, readership statistic and recommendation that help you stay up to date and learn more from these colleagues and finally we are gonna cover how Mendeley can help you to securely store uh, data sets so they can be cited and shared so what is Mendeley exactly so Mendeley is an academic software which is available across a number of different platforms. So you can run Mendeley on your Mac, your PC, or even on Linux and in all major browsers. So we can say Mendeley offers a desktop application that you can, um, you can run in your computer, uh, a web library for whenever you are not at your computer and a mobile application so you can work on the go, right? So we see how the desktop and web components work together in the next couple of slides. So let's talk briefly about how the product works, what it looks like and how you might like to use it. Well, getting a start. So in this part, the first thing you will need to do is to create an account via mendeley.com. So this is completely free of charge. And the only thing is that it takes only uh, a few seconds, to be honest. You need to just sign up on Mendeley website, on, uh, yeah, Mendeley website on mendeley.com. So you'll need a Mendeley account to log into different version of the software. So if you want to use this software, I mean, this, yeah, this software, actually this platform on the go, on your PC, on your laptop, on your mobile phone, so you need to have an account. So once you create your account, you'll be prompted to download the appropriate version of Mendeley desktop uh, for your current machine for sure. So you don't have to do this uh, right away, but it's a good idea to have the desktop application installed on your main working computer. Later, I'm gonna show you actually the, uh, this desktop application that how it works, how it looks like. So once you have done <clears throat> installing that uh, application, so, so you can start benefiting from all the Mendeley offers. Well, so let's talk about how Mendeley can help all of us to bring organization to our referencing. So as you know that the Mendeley is one of the reference manager software program uh, which we have so many actually uh, different type of programs. We have uh, Mendeley, we have EndNotes and so on. Uh, but we are going to see that how friend usually and uh, what can I say, how, how friend usually and how, uh, I mean user friendly and how uh, easy to work the Mendeley software is. So, well, this is how your Mendeley desktop looks like, right? How the desktop library, we can say, looks like. So the desktop is divided into three sections, as you can see. We have the 
left, uh, center, and the right section. So they follow a work follow hierarchy from left to right. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> so uh, the most important thing is that we know that each what each, each section do for us. So the left actually paint or the left section, this section that you can see that there are some folders and there's, there are some tags. So there are a few default actually folder. These uh, include all documents recently added, uh, I don't know, read document, my uh, new, I don't know, uh, folder, create a folder, I don't know, the, the, the favorite, recently added, and so on. Then, uh, so you can actually create your own folder and subfolder in this section. So you can also see other publication here. Uh, which is related to the group that you have either created or joined. As I said, that you can uh, actually uh, communicate with the colleagues, with the researchers all over the world through this desktop application. So as well as access to Mendeley Suggest, right? So where you will find a personalized recommendation based on other documents in your library and your interaction with Mendeley and other users. So now, the center pane or center section, which is the all documents. Now it shows the all documents. It, it shows what you click here actually. So the center uh, section shows the references list for whichever folder you have selected from the left uh, section. So there are a few functional elements here that I'll explain shortly and later I'll be show, I'll be show you uh, on the, the real application, to be honest. So there is another panel here. There's a pane, there's a section here, which is the right-hand section. This is where you can see the document details related to the references selected in the middle pane. So the right-hand pane is not only for document details, like uh, like the title, author, abstract, etc. is also where you can find the document wide notes, right? And post it, uh, annotations, content tables, and other data like embedded figures and tables and so on. And the thing is, the good thing about the Mendeley is that it is all editable. So it means that later we are going to see that, how editable and how uh, user-friendly is this uh, desktop software is. Well, so Mendeley Web is the version of Mendeley which is accessible via your web browser. Later, I will show you that how you can uh, get access to the Mendeley Web. So what you need is to be logged into your Mendeley account in order to access it. The layout is exactly similar to what we have just seen in the previous uh, slide in this one. Uh, so, uh, so uh, yeah, the layout is exactly the same, right? So we have uh, have exactly what is that the, the the left section, the middle section, and the right section exactly the same as what we had previously. So. Um, Mendeley makes it easy to add any documents. The simplest way is just only drag and drop. So whatever file you have, you can just only just drag it and drop it into your uh, Mendeley desktop, right? So there are actually quite a few ways to add documents to your library. Besides drag and drop that I said, you can also use the file menu that you can see it here. So you can use the, the, the file menu actually. And uh, uh, select the, 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 the few options actually that we are going to see what are these options. Because when you when you click on the file menu, you have the add files, add folder, watch folder, and the entry manually. And these are all different. And we need to see what are the differences and uh, what we can do with uh, 
each of them, right? So, so you can select the file or a folder to add from your computer, or maybe you can define a watch folder. Uh, this is one of the good thing about the Mendeley, to be honest. The watch folder is a folder that you can uh, um, introduce to Mendeley. Uh, so it's a folder, or it can be even the multiple folders that you define in your computer that you say that, okay, this is gonna be my watch folder. I, I define this one as my watch folder. So uh, uh, the Mendeley, we keep an eye on it, on that folder. Uh, this means that is whatever a PDF is added to this folder, so Mendeley automatically will know that these documents are new and will import it into the, the, the what is that, the software in, uh, automatically, right? Hassle free. So, uh, and also if you are already using another reference manager, if you're using the EndNote, I don't know, the, the RefWorks or the Zotru, uh, you can also easily carry across your references to Mendeley, very easy. So simply export the library. You can just export your library from those tools to a standard format uh, that you have. Like, like you know that we have so many standard formats, like we have the bib text, we have R RIS, and uh, what you need to do is you would have to uh, just, there's no problem actually importing the library, so you just, just uh, manually enter the, the library, right? So. <clears throat> so keeping your document details clean and complete is super important for sure, right? So I thought it would be a good idea to see how Mendeley takes care of most of the hard work for you. And so when you add a document to your library, Mendeley will do its best to import all the relevant information from the articles you just added but well, sometimes you know the data will be missing right so fortunately this is uh, very easy to fix we just need to enter that doi or PubMed or your uh, xib id and just click on that magnifying glass to have mendeley actually perform an online search for the correct information so this is how Mendeley helps us, right, to find the uh, correct detail for our document. So Mendeley uh, will add the correct information automatically for us. So sometimes Mendeley will flag the document for review, which means some of the information may be missing or incomplete. So at this point, what we should do is that you need to or you can actually select to have Mendeley search for the document details using the Google Scholar, right? So uh, to fill in the missing field, right? So the Google Scholar can just automatically uh, fill all these missing fields. So but just, just bear in mind that you can always edit these fields manually, as I said. If you remember at the, uh, the right section, easily you can edit. I said that easily. Uh, it's editable, right? At any time. So there are a uh, few other ways to add documents to your library, namely the Mendeley Web Importer and Mendeley Research Catalog, right? So the thing is that uh, if you want to uh, import any uh, new citation from the web, from the uh, website, from anywhere, so you can actually have this option, right? <clears throat> so, you can see that we have the Mendeley Web Importer and we have the Mendeley Search Catalog. It's very easy to work with, right? But, but the Mendeley Web Importer is an invaluable tool when performing literature reviews or searching in database for articles of interest. So, if you visit mendeley.com slash import, so mendeley.com slash import, so you will find the instructions on how to install the uh, bookmark into your browser. So information on all the database 
a database, uh, uh, it's uh, import actually um, the automatically into the, what is that, into our Mendeley, right? So the bookmarklet will tell Mendeley everything uh, it needs, right? So to know to add the article in our library with all the, uh, the, the metadata. So later I will show you actually what it looks like in action, right? So it's kind of hard sometimes uh, to understand uh, what it is through the slides. So don't worry, I will, I will, I will show you later uh, in action, right? I will show you that Mendeley, uh, actually Mendeley desktop, uh, software so it's easier for you guys to understand so <clears throat> well anytime you come across any interesting article online or when you do a search on google scholar or one of the many other supported websites that is actually included on their research uh, i mean accurate uh, research website, right? So you can uh, save these articles to your library by just clicking the browser book one, save, the, save to Mendeley, right? Very easy. Uh, so you can have that one, just just, just click the save to Mendeley. So uh, a model window like this, uh, this one actually will pop up, then you can just select the article that you want to just import and then uh, just click the, that green button that you can see, let's say all, for example, right? So, and then done. So, if you have access to the article via your institutional network, a PDF icon will generally indicate that the actual article or file is accessible and it will be then saved automatically to your library. Remember that uh, the middle pane into your library. So along with the metadata reference, uh, reference of that metadata and so on. So certain online catalogs such as like, like saying such as that, I don't know, Science Direct, uh, picture here actually, as you can see, right? Let's go to Science Direct, right? So allow you to export reference directly to Mendeley. Right, as you can see, there is an icon here. Save to Mendeley, save to uh, other other things that we have to endnote that works. Right, you can have also a different uh, what is that uh, format? You have deep text, you have text, IRS, endnote. You, know, you can have all these forms. Right, oh, sorry. And you know that Mendeley actually has partnered with Science Direct and Scopus to make importing articles. And that is how uh, referencing into the library even became faster, right? And Scopus. So, and in Science Direct, uh, just a click, uh, just click export to see uh, the save to Mendeley option. So we can actually add the articles to our library, right? So, uh, uh, this is one of the good thing about the, the, the Mendeley, to be honest, because unlike other reference managers, uh, uh, I mean, reference managers apps, right? Mendeley securely sync your library between devices, so, and, and, and also back it up online. That means that Mendeley desktop and web update each other, so you will always have access to your articles and references. So even if you are not at your computer, right? You can you can have access to whatever you have on your Mendeley library. So it means that your library is hundred percent secure and is not visible to anyone else. But just syncing does allow Mendeley to analyze your library anonymously. So it makes uh, personalized suggestions. Uh, to you on request. So in this way, actually, you can discover other researchers and research in your field and see what articles are more popular right now, right? And, and, and as I said, the most important thing is that it is, uh, it is sync between your computer, your mobile, your 
uh, Mendeley Web. So wherever you are, on the go, on your computer, any other computers, anywhere, you can have access to all the libraries already synced, right? So if you, for example, I'm saying that you drag and drop <clears throat> a new article, a new PDF article on your library, you add that article, that, that reference on your library, and now, now you're not accessed to uh, your Mendeley desktop, which is uh, installed on your own laptop, on your PC, on your machine, I mean. So no matter where you are, wherever you are, you can just get access easily to uh, that article. So now, for sure, now you are familiar with adding references to your library. It's very easy. Later also, I will show you the uh, how we add these articles actually, and how we are managing uh, our library, how we can even create a new folder with, with, for any new research actually. So uh, uh, maybe now we can talk about how we can order and structure our library. It is very important to know that how we manage our library, right? So uh, uh, Mendeley uh, desktops interface, which you can see it here. Uh, this interface actually should be fairly intuitive if you are familiar with programs like iTunes or even Gmail, right? It's a very user-friendly, actually, platform. Uh, on the left-hand panel here, on the left-hand panel, uh, it offers actually a number of different options to help filter our document. So we have the document list here, and it offers uh, help actually to filter these document lists to exactly what we need to find, right? So you can just like easily filter it down. So the default position when opening Mendeley desktop is all documents. It's all, normally this is the default folder, which uh, we list all the default positions. Uh, 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 and uh, it's a default actually position of the Mendeley. So Remember, whenever, whenever actually we, we open the Mendeley letter, I'll be showing you. It comes with it, all documents, right? So you can use the uh, column heading, mm, such as the author names, year, etc., to order the document by uh, for that value, right? So this can be useful for finding the works by specific author, huh? You are, you are searching for very specific author so easily you can just uh, add that one. Um, let's exemplify this one okay for instance uh, when you add any materials to your library they will initially be marked as on read right so indicated by a large green dot in the second column right you can see those uh, green lights in the second column so you know, all documents that you have all of that no matter which folder is that, okay? You have, like, for example, you can you can create a folder, for example, for your thesis. You can say, like, okay, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, huh? and so on, chapter chapter five, whatever you have. But no matter how many folders you have here, it, it, it is all appeared in your old document. So uh, those unread documents are will be uh, shown by these uh, green dots. Right in the second column, you see. You can toggle this off and uh, on by clicking. Huh? So when you just click on 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 on, on this actually uh, green dot, so you can toggle the toggle this one off. So alternatively, actually, a document will be marked as read. Right, once you spend a certain amount of time reading it in the Mendeley PDF reader, which is a very good idea to read all your PDF actually on the Mendeley. So you can start your document to make it actually, uh, what is that? Uh, makes it more visible to yourself, uh, to mark it as your favorite, you start it. So they can then be easily actually retrieved, right? Uh, in in the, the, what is that, in the left hand panel actually, when, when we have it here, so you can just easily uh, show that all the favorites actually right uh you can also use the this uh left section left hand section this this panel actually to access items you recently added right or those items you just recently read so these are all here recently 
the same yeah. favorite uh, let's review my publication if you give oh uh, this is this is a good one actually later i will talk about it actually in your my publication um when you when you actually create your account on on Mendeley, so uh it will sing all your research that you have on the Google Scholar on your actually on your profile on your Scopus profile, all your citation, all your publication, paper publication, whatever you have on the web. So it will be sync over there. So uh as a free, you can just uh, access to that one as well. And the thing is that it can be shared also with other researchers, right? So uh these uh folders actually allow you to Quickly uh, file your reference under different topic headings. So you can drag and drop actually references from your library onto the folder name in the left hand panel and just easily add that reference to that folder, right? And, or maybe you can just only create a folder. Use the create folder to enter a new folder name as easy as that, right? So, Mendeley actually offers a very, very powerful search tool, which helps us to locate items in our library. What we need is yes, uh, to just enter uh, the search term in the field, which appears in the top right corner, and Mendeley will filter this current actually view to show references which contain that term, right? So it will also search within the full text of PDF papers which appear in our library. So the search is contact specific. So if you are not getting the, the result you expected, uh, so we need to actually make sure that uh, we have the appropriate folder actually selected, right? So if you, for example, you select the, like remember here, the, um, here, right? We have the, oh, maybe here. Like, for example, we have so many folders. Okay, you can see this one. Right? Economics, example, history, whatever. It, it, it can be, I don't know, the chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. I don't know, this paper, that paper, from Scopus, ISI, whatever. Whatever you name it. <clears throat> so, uh, the thing is that when you when you select that folder, imagine that if I select the, the philosophy folder, and I'm going and just, just start to search, for example, something on that, folder which is not in that folder so it's very hard for Mendeley to find it so the thing is that my suggestion is that normally I ask uh, uh, my friends my students that uh, let, let's put your Mendeley in on your all documents when you when you are searching actually when you are looking for some some papers any, any research right any citation so easily you can just you can just easily uh, just put it on the all documents and then done right So uh, you can just, uh, what is that? Also use the tag. You can tag the documents, right? To locate a reference or reference within your library. So you can add multiple tags to your reference as well, right? These tags are actually uh, somehow uh, the same as your keywords, right? I'm saying that, okay, because I'm a civil engineer, uh, from whichever uh, major you are coming to this webinar, no matter. You just related to your, uh, you just related to your major, okay, to your specialties. Uh, my my, I'm I'm specialized in in civil engineering geotechnics. Okay, I'm saying that uh, for sure. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm for example research on, uh, I don't know, deep foundation. Okay, so the thing is that most of the papers that I have are uh, related to this deep foundation, but maybe it, it, sometimes I don't know. It, it is. Uh, uh, different in some terms, right? Like I'm, I'm, I'm point. I'm, I'm looking for the, for example, alpha method or beta method or any other method, right? So as long as that, those papers are related to, for example, alpha method. So I just tag that those those papers with that name. So easily when I just uh, click on that tag, so I can find that paper easily on my Mendeley. So you, I, I don't need to search for those papers because the thing is that, uh, to be honest, searching any paper, any references, any citation, any anything uh, on your on your computer, no matter. I mean, despite Mendeley, searching for anything needs 
to have knowledge of what that thing is, right? Or remember some part of that. Like, for example, I'm saying that you have 1,000, 2,000 of uh, references on your Mendeley. How you can remember the article, the name of the, the author, you know, it's very hard. But when you tag it, it is very easy for you to just find it, right? Because for sure, when you tag, you filter your uh, references on your <clears throat> on your uh, Mendeley library, right? Uh, so, um, sorry. So as you can see, uh, we paid a lot of attention to features that will allow us to easily search and filter our references, right? Within that, I mean, the, within the Mendeley itself. Um, However, there is an additional option that can be found in our uh, references menu that can allow us to keep uh, our actual actually PDF sorted on our computer, right? Nicely organized by selecting the desired location, uh, file name, folder structure. So Mendeley uses actually these references metadata to 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 uh, rename the folders and files our actually selection right so it's very easy to organize the file through this actually file organizer. so like i just exemplify it this is a very simple example of that folder containing a large number of articles so as it can be seen here as you can see there are several articles that that have very similar encrypted file names right this is quite common when we download articles from journals, website, right, databases. And uh, yeah, and here is what it looks like when you have activated the file organizer, right? So you see when, when we activate the activate the file organizer, uh, this is, uh, uh, okay, in this, in this case, actually, we did not select the uh, uh, create soft folder, but we what we did is actually select to organize the file by author, date, and the title, right? Uh, so now these files will be easy to recognize, even from outside the Mendeley, right? Very easy. You can just have the, the author, the year, you see, everything. Huh? So. so this is one of the common uh, issues on uh, reference manager uh, applications because as we as your library actually keeps growing it is very difficult to recall if we have any for example already added a reference to this library or not like for example I'm saying that for sure it is ha it, it happens for you guys that when you publish your when you want to actually write the second paper the next paper of yours uh, you might have some uh, similar uh, references, which sometimes uh, you forgot that ha have I add uh, this reference in my library, right? So, uh, <clears throat> but I, I, I'm gonna say that this is okay in most cases because Mendeley actually recognizes the uh, the article and keeps only one and three, huh? Or simple attaches. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, simple attaches actually PDF to that reference. So you can easily just uh, uh, use the check for duplicates and uh, you can find in, in, the, in the actually tools menu, right? When you go to the tools menu, you can just find the check for duplicates. So Mendeley will identify any duplicate entries and offer to merge these, uh, these into a single combined entry. But um, you need to know that you will uh, be prompted to check over the details of the combined version before the merger is completed. So it is allowing you actually to take details from each of the entries you are merging, right? So, um, well, uh, we have just actually finished talking about how to set up your reference library. Right? and how to go about the organizing and finding your references. Now, it is time to read the articles, how we can read the articles, right? So Mendeley actually uh, has a built-in PDF reader. 
right? So you have your PDF reader, your PDF viewer. So the layout will be exactly, will be familiar actually, if you've used the Adobe uh, Acrobat reader, right? It's exactly the same as uh, that platform. Or even the similar softwares, right? The Nitropedia, for example. Whatever, whatever uh, uh, PDF viewer, viewer you have, this, this, this platform is exactly the same as that, uh, those, those softwares. So at the top of the screen, actually you will see a number of tools. Like we have a pen, we have highlight, we have select paste, copy, paste, rotate, zoom, etc. And you will also notice that Mendeley operates a tapped format, right? Allowing actually us to open multiple PDFs, right? So uh, we, we can have actually uh, multiple PDF here and just select it through the, these tabs, right? So uh, the search box in the top right corner, as you can see, huh? the search box actually uh, in the top right corner is uh, context specific, right? So in this case, the search box will only search across the full text of the search article. You are currently reading by highlighting the search terms and allowing you actually to cycle through them, right? So easily you can just search, right? This is this is this is exactly the same as uh, what is that the control F in your Adobe PDF reader anywhere actually right <clears throat> actually Adobe uh, Adobe uh, Acrobat uh, reader uh, Adobe Acrobat actually has a uh, also the search section right this the search actually box but uh, you know with the control F you can easily just just search but here also you have this actually uh, the toolbox so you can easily just search right. So you can, as I said, you can highlight those important passages uh, using the highlight tool. So just as you, uh, as you would actually when uh, reading a physical copy, right? So you can just just highlight it in this uh, soft copy of your uh, reference, right? So it is actually, or yeah, it is actually allows you to. Uh, pick out some important passages from these papers that you are reading. So you can also uh, add some notes to that paper. Uh, it's exactly like a comments that we have on, uh, on the uh, Microsoft Word, right? To help you organize your thoughts so you can just write your thoughts. So this can be actually done uh, either in the note box, which appears in the document details panel, uh, Oh, um, actually, bear in, uh, bear in mind that these notes are uh, document-wide and can also be viewed from the main library view, right? So when you are in your main library, uh, remember the, the, what is that, the center panel, right? It can be viewed through the, the main library, right? So now we've gone through the steps of how to set up your library, you know now how to organize your article and references and using the, the PDF viewer to read and annotate. So it's about uh, the time that we get started on writing your own paper, right? For the citation. So for the citation, actually, there are so many uh, things that you need to know. First of all, you need to, uh, I mean, first, and foremost thing that you need to do is that you need to install the citation plugin. So uh, when you work with uh, Microsoft Word on the reference actually uh, tab, uh, you cannot see the Mendeley easily, right? So the thing is that yeah, you need to have your, okay, like, let me, let me show you. I think it's better to see. <clears throat> okay, like this is the Microsoft Word. So on the references tab, uh, before you uh, install your Mendeley uh, plugin, you will not you would not see this one. What you see is this. This is actually uh, what you are seeing, right? This 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 panel. What you see when you do not have your Mendeley. But after you install your Mendeley plugin, so you will see this one, right? So. Let's back to the slides. <clears throat> so, 
uh, so uh, yeah so on a Mac the plugin uh, actually looks like a bar that lists the functions of Mendeley right so it's very easy <coughs> so inserting actually a citation is achieved by first uh, positioning your cursor in the appropriate location right that you need to actually uh, mm, yeah uh, yeah I, I said about this one the uh, difference between the Mac and the windows and I show you the windows one when is the windows so yeah uh, Uh, first of all, you need to actually, yeah, you locate your cursor, right? The most the mouse cursor in the appropriate location and just press the insert citation button. So this is actually for the, 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 the Mac. Uh, I will show you on the Windows as well, right? <clears throat> so pressing the button will open the Mendeley search tool. So this box actually allows you to enter a term such as the author name, for example before returning search results from the uh, from your library. So you can locate the reference you want to cite and just click the select and then you just press the OK button, huh? as easy as that. So um, to be honest, I prefer that I'm, I'm, I'm showing you this, this part, the citation part uh, in action. Um, I think it, 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 it more understandable, right? So let me I, um, I zoom in and okay. So I, I just 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 select this one. Okay, imagine that I I also want to uh, make it like in a different um, paragraph. So okay. So we are we are going to learn uh, how we do the citation in action, right? So what we need to do is that. Uh, we need to actually point our cursor in a place that we want. Oh, uh, before before I gone uh, through these uh, citation. Well, this is this is the Mendeley desktop. How Mendeley desktop look like? As a, as you remember that I told you that here we have like uh, for example uh, the 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 left uh, panel, which by default is a uh, all document. Then we have the recently added, recently read, and you, you see that these dots actually shows that these are the unread. So you can toggle off by just clicking on that, right? So it shows that uh, it has been already read. Then we have some favorite, right? You see, like I start just only one. This is maybe my favorite actually <laughs> document. So. Uh, there are some need to review that these are all those documents that have not being read. Then the publication, uh, actually some of them are here for me. Uh, I haven't connect that one. I haven't actually connect that one to that. And then on sort. So you can just like, for example, here you see assignment, bulletin, chapters. Uh, you can put any uh, other papers, scopus, I don't know, whatever you have, you can just or you can just create a folder, right? I'm saying that, um, well, um, I'm saying that Mendeley, today's 30th, right? So I put the 30th of June, right? For this session, right? Mendeley 30th of June. Okay, so how I can, uh, Okay, through the Google Scholar, okay, the, the, I don't know, search anything, any. So, uh, you know, uh, you can actually, uh, as I said, that drag, drag and drop, right? You can drag and drop any articles. Like I have some articles here. So, you see, I have, I have these, for example, I don't know, these articles. So I just, you see, drag, just drop it here and done. And when you click it, you can see all the detail of this actually, uh, what is that? This article here, right? Uh, with journal, year, volume, issues, page, abstract, 
no? anything. So if there is any problem in your articles, let me let me see if I can show you. Um, as you remember that I said that if there is any problem in your, uh, yeah, some some of them are uh, missing. So the only thing you need to do is just to just enter the URL, or you can just enter the DOI. Huh? Yeah, you see the DOI, and then you have the this search magnifier, right? And just search it. So Mendeley will uh, find that one. So let me see. Like this is a, actually this is from the. And this is the, the app, this is the PDF viewer. How I, I get into this, actually, you, you can just like a double click, right? Whatever you have, just double click, you see, and it comes here. And you see that here, I just highlighted actually some of them. Basically, you can just see also that those highlighted part. So there are some missing maybe. Actually, this is really a uh, old, uh, what is that, article, but I'm not sure that if there is an EOI for it. Let, let's search. See if we can find any UI. Yes, exactly. But, um, see, it's from the ASC library, for example, right? <clears throat> so, um, yeah, this is a DOI, right? So I just uh, want to copy the DOI and just back to Mendeley. Uh, just here. So you see that once I see once I paste the once I paste the UI, you see the search magnifier is activated. Oh, it became blue. So I'm searching it, and sometimes uh, it can find you know some uh, what is that some details. Sometimes not. So the thing is that if you want, you can just easily uh, if you need it. For example, I need the for example to have the abstract here. Oh. See, it's very easy. That that's a good thing about the Mendeley, right? You want the keyword. If there's a keyword, so you can just just put the keyword. Publisher ASC, the URL. You can just just have you see this, this URL here. Copy paste on, right? So you can just like manually complete the edit and complete the data of your reference and done. So forever now this one have all these information forever, right? As long as we have it in our library. We just modify that one, right? The other keywords because there wasn't any keyboard. But the tags, like for example here, you see like, for example, uh, for this, this article, uh, I want to put a tag, right? I want to put a tag, for example. Uh, what was the name of the article? For example, it was the shaft resistance, right? So uh, I, I make this one as a as, as my tag. So I put this one. Uh, I'm saying that where is the tag? Here we go. Yeah, shaft resistance. So you see that now I have here in my tag I have a shaft resistance. So when I just click on the shaft resistance, this this article is coming. Like resistance capacity, this article is coming, right? So it means that uh, here, like for example, I I let me. Uh, let me tag this one as, I don't know, the shaft resistance and this one as a shaft resistance, oh, no matter, whatever is that. So you see, when I'm going to my filter by tag, all those documents that have been already filtered by shaft resistance tag is appearing, is appear, right? So I have all of them here. So you want to cancel that? You go just to all. See, because the thing is that when you select this one, if you press on the all document, anything, huh, this document is coming actually. But how to get rid of this by just pressing on the all, right? So, and then I showed you the, the PDF viewer, right? You see, very easy. You just, just double click here. Uh -huh. So you have all the, you have access to this one. So you, keep, you see, you have the pan, huh? you have the pan. You have the notes, so you can have some notes, right? You can have some notes. You can use the, the, the color for the highlight. So just 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 um, here you can just, just highlight the text, right? So I just want to highlight until here. 
and then oops sorry here yeah, then you, you want to change the, the color okay again okay i like the text uh maybe you can change the color to red and just just highlight somewhere else you know, here right maybe here very well i don't know it doesn't matter oh, just just only from here to here whatever you know the thing is that this this actually is very nice so you can also have it the full screen right have it in a full screen you can zoom fit in just zoom uh you can zoom actually with the control and your uh, uh mouse wheel your mouse wheel actually can can zoom in right uh, but can feed and zoom right it's very easy you can also uh close the toggle down actually the what's that all, all these things so you have your notes if you have any notes here so you will have it so you see like for example i know i i make a note here okay um, um i don't know with it again whatever right so i have that notes you see so i have the these notes actually it shows with this uh icon of the notes so i have these notes here so it will be uh it actually shows actually on the document you see with this uh with this icon let me i just like zoom in you see with this icon so i put the notes here so if i want to see that what what note is uh, i can just simply click on it or i can just easily go to the note and just uh click on that note right so if i'm i'm, I'm here so i'm just you see I'm, I'm 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 just clicking on that it will you see automatically I'm, I'm i'm for example i'm, I'm reading here right I'm, I'm i'm reading this part okay but but suddenly I, I i want to know that okay what are what are the notes that i mentioned previously so just i'm going here i i might have so many notes but i just click on that it will bring me immediately on this note right and i can also delete right yes so i can easily just delete all the notes that i have right so, um, well, um, so these are all the things that we have already to uh, adding the uh, reference. Actually, if you remember from the file, you have the add file, you have the add folder, right? You have watch folder, you add the add entry manually, right? So manually is exactly the same as what we have in the right panel that in, Remember that I was actually edit the abstract, uh, the tag, anything. So here also you can just easily just just uh, uh, you have anything like okay you are I, actually no one would do that to be honest. No one these days would do that. But if, for example, I'm, I'm just saying that right that you want to add manually. So you have this one. Okay, you have the title. Well, Control C then. From the entry manually, you can just title the author, whatever the author journal, and to and you see this is actually it's uh, not really common these days, right? So, but the watch folder is very good. You can just have a watch folder. You can just um, uh, identify the watch folder. So you can just say that okay, in this computer, for example, on drive D, for example, um, okay, here I have papers. I have the new one differences, so I can just uh, you see take this one apply as my watch folder. I don't want it to do that, but you can easily just like define your watch folder. The good thing about that watch folder is that uh, uh, the good thing about the that watch folder is that uh, when you have, for example, this one, you make this reference, for example, as your watch folder. The good thing about that. Uh, this 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 folder is that once you add any new uh, document, new reference, new PDF file, so it will be added automatically in your library, right? This is very important for you to know. Uh, so you don't need to drag and drop. Oh, it's also for you. Just add to that folder, and then then it will look at look up at, uh, on that folder, and it will add those documents, those uh, PDF file or BPX, any anything, any reference that you have automatically automatically on your uh, in your library right so and then 
remember we have the the search button right you can just just easily search by author title publication name year huh? say year I'm, I'm saying that 2010 so all the 2010 uh, document will appear right or I don't know saying author huh? you can have you can have so many actually uh, things you can have all of them as well right you can have author title publication name anything right we can just have like for example the title right i'm, I'm saying that what was that uh shaft you know, whatever whatever uh shaft resistance you see i have so many uh documents here start with the shaft resistance right so uh i can just easily find like that or you can you can say that okay shaft resistance but the author uh is the indra uh, Um, sorry. Right year, okay, 2010. Uh, uh, author, I don't know, person. You see, it brings that that folder, which is a, that that document, which is 2010. Example has some boss, right? Whatever, whoever. So you can have anything that you want, the year, title, author, anything, right? And just get rid of it with just clicking on that cross. So uh yeah, these are all the things that we had in the, these three panels, uh, the three panes that we have. So all the notes, everything, content, details, everything are here. So now uh, we have, for example, we created a folder like Mendeley 30th of June, right? And we add this uh, article. So another thing is that by adding the article, some articles are, uh, you just need, for example, the, uh, this article, you, don't, you, you, want, you want to get the citations through the Google Scholar. You know that you have all these citations, all these formats. The, the best formats and the best thing that I'm suggesting everyone is the BibText very easy and the only thing you need to do is just uh, get the bibtex format of that reference and what you need to do is that uh, you need to have a ready uh, a ready actually a uh, text document okay you can just name this text document whatever you want based on uh, format that you have like for example you see that in in my in my uh, references for this paper that I, I put the reference number one two three four so I know what's going on I know that these 30 references what's going on huh which one is what so uh, what you need to do is that you have the, the, the just only the text format document the text file right and uh, here you have the big text so you just control a which is the select all copy and then paste right and on and done save right so now i have this one so i want to actually add it in my mendeley desktop right so easily i can just just drag and drag and drop i have it you see it's, everything is here right and normally this is that this is the thing that is happening that normally when you have the big text actually you don't have the abstract you don't have the keywords you don't have the url or that ui right so the thing is that maybe you can just uh, once you do these kind of things, so uh, you might uh, get the DOI and search through the DOI of that uh, article, right? So um, <clears throat> I take the DOI here and I'm trying to search it through the search magnifier you see done very easy so it's not an opera cadabra it is actually a fact right so i just searched and everything came the url publisher is the asc american society of civil engineers who is the citation key right everything but but you need the abstract that's a different thing okay you need the abstract you just just abstract is always available right it's free and done huh it's a copy paste away right you want to tag it you know what to do right if there is any keyword 
Yeah, there's no keyword, right? Okay, maybe. So I have now the, the new document, right? I have the new document, which shows everything to me. Well, <clears throat> so now let's back to the citation process. Okay, there are two things, uh, two, three things that I need to tell you uh, in the citation process that how we cite actually, uh, well, um, okay. The first and foremost thing is that remember that we need to actually have the, 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 the plugin, right? So uh, in your actually Mendeley desktop apps, you have the tools. So here you have the install web importer. If you install the web importer, something will come to your, uh, if you are using, for example, the Google, Google Chrome, you see the uh, Mendeley web importer would be here as an extension, you see, very easy. So I, when I click that, so the web importer is here, I need to just sign in, and uh, after that, uh, it, will, it will work automatically, right? So. <clears throat> yeah, I just get signed in. Yeah, show you that. Well, you see, I, I'm already signed in. You see, there are now, uh, for example, I'm here, right? This is the shaft resistance of model piling clay. I have it here as well, right? Checking for PDF. It's checked for your PDF. See that you can find it or not. And this is, you see, it's me. It's my library. It's everything is here, right? So, and you see, we PDF. You are looking for PDF? Okay, this is the PDF. It's coming. Huh? If it is available, actually. If it is not, so you need to pay, and you will have the, the PDF. But if you click on it, you see the, if you click on it, you can edit that, uh, uh, what is that, uh, imported from the web. Like, it's a journal article? Yes. Uh, you, can, you can say it's a real book, book section, the program, anything, oh, you have so many things to cite. So it's a journal article, the title is correct, authors, yes, correct, right? And then publication is a journal of geotechnical engineer, whatever, every, every, everything is here, abstract, right? So I can easily just have this one, so I just, you see, I, <clears throat> you see, uh, I, I can just, uh, check this one and just say where to add you see where to add okay because previously i was add added this one actually here remember so i i'm i'm, I'm deleting that okay let, let's delete everything now this folder is empty clean uh, very clean folder okay saying that where can i add this one i'm saying that go and add to the mendeley which we created where is that folder um, chapter four or something. Oh, it's not. It's not sync yet. I need to. I need to sync my Mendeley first. I need to win my. Okay, sync my Mendeley. You see now, when I when I sync the Mendeley, okay, it, it is it is doing itself actually automatically every time you open it. But because I opened it, I didn't sync. It it's, it, it was synced actually, but I I created this folder after that and I didn't sync, so the folder is not there. So now. One more time. Just a second. <clears throat> so I refresh the page. Now I have the Mendeley web importer. Uh, one more time, I'm saying that how we can have this web importer through your Mendeley desktop, right? You have your Mendeley desktop. There's a, actually tools, right? So you have the install web importer. Once you do that, it actually brings you to the, what is that? The Wendelie website, you see here on Wendelie.com. And this, you can just easily get web importer for Chrome, right? Or whatever whatever browser you have, uh, it automatically uh, it recognize that one, right? And and you can you can enter whatever you have whatever I don't know like like you say that the shaft uh, resistance 
Okay, you you Google something and there is a there is a website. I don't know whatever is that, right? It's a website, and you want to use this website actually on on your uh, as a reference, right? Whatever. So you have your web importer, right? You see now that the website is here, right? So now you see I have the Mendeley 30th of June. I just refresh that page actually. And now you see in my library, actually, I have the uh, Mendeley like that. So I just, you see, I'm just asking, okay, you add it here, please. No? You just add it here. And add. Okay, because I, I chose the add PDF if available, that actually error is coming that the PDF is not available. Okay, that the PDF is not available. Oh, it's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind. Right? I, I don't want the PDF. I'm, I'm just I'm just saying that that. But you see, when I sync it again, that is uh, actually this one is coming. And the thing is that the good thing about the Mendeley is that every time we check with you that if every details are correct, so it asks you that details are correct. So I'm saying that mm, it seems that everything's there, right? If I'm not satisfied with these details, I can search again. And it says that it's okay. It's everything is there, you see? It's, it gives us the green tick. So I'm saying that yes, it is correct. So you see easy I have uh, this reference actually here, right? Or let's say like this website, right? I want to add this one here. Uh, you see if you say add PDF, if available, then uh, it will add the PDF. Otherwise, just the website. So add, right? So again here, it's doing a refreshing that one. So you see, the, this website is also there, right? There is no author, there is nothing. So you can just, just easily, uh, what is that? Uh, key in all the data that you want, right? Huh? In all the data. You see, and when when the the what is that? That these data are uh, these data are incorrect, or there's a problem with it. Mendeley shows you that when you search for the correct data, uh, it shows you see that actually sign that shows that no, it's not correct. But here, if you remember, when we when we search, actually the green check mark came right. So you can just edit manually, but I just, I hate it, this one, so I remove it. Um, uh, for us, actually, mostly uh, we are entering, you know, the what is that, entering all these from the, the Google Scholar, so very easy. So I, as I said that, there's another another option that from Google Scholar, right, from the Google Scholar, so easily you can just have the, the beep text, remember? that you have the, the beep text, you take the beep text, you just, uh, uh, what you can do is just only uh, drag and drop, right? The beep text, so it will be here, right? So you see, just drag and drop, done. And everything is there, easy, easy, right? So, and another thing is that to install the Microsoft Word plugin, because I already installed the uh, this plugin actually on my Microsoft Word here. You see, this is the plugin that I have, which is connected to my memory. So when I when I go to the tools, it shows the uninstall uh, Microsoft Word plugin. So the thing is that when you want to install the when you when you do not have it actually, you need to actually install. So you go to the tools, install. That that time for you for you, it shows the install Microsoft Word plugin, right? Well, all right. So. Now we want to know that how we can uh, enter the or insert the citation. So I just just uh, for example, I just put something. This is this is not very relevant, right? Just just put it here, okay? Uh, to show just uh, how we can insert the citation. And another thing that I want to show you, which is very important, you you will see that how user friendly this uh, Turnitin is. That how we can merge if uh, we have uh, more than one citation, right? And then uh, how we can insert the bibliography and the style of the citation, 
right? So this is very easy. So what you can do is that, okay, I just want to, for example, uh, the first line after this, I just want to cite this one, okay? So uh, I'm just going, you see from here, I'm saying that open manually, right? Uh, I, I'm, I'm telling you later about the site. So I'm, I'm saying that, uh, okay, here, insert citation, you see? So when I click on the insert citation one more time, you see, insert citation, it comes, uh, actually it pops up the, the new window here. So I can say that go to Mendeley. So, okay, for example, I want to cite this one, the one that we already found, right? So the only thing is that if you have more than, like here, you see the, let me go to another one, to the, this one, you see if you have more than, more than, uh, more, I mean, uh, references. So you just select whatever you want, right? Here we have just one, right? So I select this one and I'm just saying that site. So you see the citation is here, right? Very easy. And then here. I want to cite here. Okay, it's a citation. One more time. Go to Mendeley. Okay, let me let me choose this one. And cite. And done. See? And done. You can just, just make some space. Okay, sometimes or most of the times that we have more than one actually citation, right? Now you can see that I have just only one citation here. Uh, then if I have more than one, so like I'm saying that I have um, just a second. Okay, uh, I don't know, like this one also, I cite this one. Then after that, again, I cite another one. Um, this one, I don't know, whatever, all right? And the last, this one, okay. So you see now here when I highlighted one, two, three, four citation, right? So I have four citation. So let me, I do the, some other citations here. And because later I want to show you also about the bibliography. So go to Mendeley. Right, well, let's, you can you can you can actually get the citation from so many different places, right? And just like like this, and I mean I have some more that I can show you the. <clears throat> okay, more publication. Mm. Mm. I just I don't want to have uh, more okay and some more here because I know uh, I want to show you actually the later that how we what is that how we merge these things right and then I want to I want to show you another things. Like for example, sometimes sometimes we start with that uh, with that person. Okay, let me let me find something that I I say you like. Okay, let's let's make this one a new thing. So the process was carried out. Okay, for example, you you want to say that. Um, here, okay, for example, you want to say that someone, okay, someone, okay, let, let's see that, that, that person, okay. Um, let me, I bring it from one of my papers, just a second. I can, I can just easily just, just bring it from the, this one. For example, you have, you start that one from, for example, with this name, okay. I just, I just take this one. Okay. Sometimes uh,
sometimes we start with the, the, that person, right? Okay. So now I, I just delete this person name, but I know that, okay, like I put the Shinto, my name, huh? Shinto studied that one. So we, I need to actually, uh, what is that? Uh, <clears throat> cite that one. So let me, I, I cite myself. Okay, I, I take this one, for example, you see the bib text. Okay, so what I need to have is a new text document, right? I name it that I understand what is that, my name, right? So from the bib text, I, I take it, control C, control V, and then I have this very easy, right? So what, what I need to do is just only to here in the Mendeley, I just key in this one. So you see that all the all the details are here, right? You can have the tag, author details, everything, right? So I can manually also edit that one. So I just want to say that this person, which is me, actually studied that. So you see, I just, what you need to do is that before that you had the name, name of that person, right? But when you want to, uh, bring it from uh, Mendeley. Again, you need to go to your reference, insert citation, go to Mendeley, and then you just cite that person. <clears throat> so, but the thing is that, this is the reason that I brought this one, right? So, you want to actually edit this very easy, okay. What you need is, normally it's like that. It, it's supposed to be actually like this. It's supposed to be like this. It's supposed to be like, Emery at all, right? Emery at all. Then you had the you have the year like this. It's supposed to be like this, right? But I, I I actually have written this manually, which is not what we are looking for. We want it as a reference, right? Because later I want to have the bibliography of that reference. So what I need to do to make it like this is to just only manually edit that one. You see, the only thing I need to do is just put my cursor before the 2020 and just add one uh, bracket. Then Mendeley will ask me, do you want to keep this edit which you uh, impose manually? And I'm saying, yes, keep manually. If I say undo, it will undo it, right? <clears throat> and I want to undo it. Why? Because I forgot to remove this. You should not have the bracket in the beginning, right? So what I want is the bracket here. Done. Now it asked me that. Do you want to actually this citation Emory at all 2020 has been manually edited? Do you want to keep it? Yes. And done. So another thing is that here, if you see that, for example, okay, here I have the uh, the what is that? The one only uh, citation and. But here you see I have one, two, right? Three, four citation. So you see what you need to do is that you can easily just select that part. You don't need to go and just select the citation. No, you can just select this. You see all like this. And each time you select this, I, I do it separately because I want to do it. Uh, I, I want to tell you uh, two times that uh, that if you didn't get it, then another time you will get it. So you see that here, I have these uh, these citations, right? One, two, three, and four. And I want to merge them because I, we don't want the citation like this that has a like bracket, 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 bracket. No, it, it doesn't work for us like that. So what, what we are doing is just we select that one and here, merge citation and done. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's a click away, right? You see, it just merge all the all these citations, right? Again, once again, you see, I have I have here, right? I have some citations here. Merge citation, sure, right? You see, citation merged, right? One more time, see? Yeah, see the citation, merge and done. Citation merge. You see, previously, previously was like this. 
was like this, right? Right? You see, separated. And now I want to just merge them. And done. So it, it, it actually helps you a lot, right? It helps you a lot. So now I want to know that, okay, I already cited my citation here. I have whatever I have, whatever I need actually. So the last part in all your uh, research or your I don't know, paper, thesis, whatever it is, that what? Reference part, right? Which is going to be actually the bibliography part. So uh, before I go for this part, that how we can bring the, insert the bibliography, uh, here you need to know that you can have the different styles. Uh, so based on the publication that you are going to publish, based, based on the journal actually that you are going to publish in, you have different styles, like you have the IEEE, which is the numerical type of, huh? uh, what is that, like this. So you see that, okay, uh, you see here, to five right because because I, I merge them right remember there are so many articles here so I have the number one I have number two three like that uh, and, and the good thing and I have the six to eight here and the good thing about this one is that okay imagine that I want to add another article uh, another reference here okay I want I want to show that like this one is the number one if I add another citation here, no matter, this is an example, right? We do not actually, based on the based on this sentence, I should not actually have the citation here. But I just want to show you that how this number is going to change, right? So if I have another citation prior to this one, so I'm saying that insert citation, go to Mendeley. From here, I bring the, this one, okay? Whatever is that. You see, automatically, this one is became number one, and that this one that Priorly, uh, previously was the number one, now changed to number two. So it means that th this software actually will do everything, whatever you whatever you want, right? Mm -hmm. And then if you remember, here was number one, here was two to five, but now here is a three to six, right? And and if I if I insert citation here, this one from seven to nine is gonna be eight to ten, right? See, go to Mendeley. I'm bringing this one seven so this one became eight to ten you see very easy right very easy so now how i can insert my bibliography very easy i have the insert bibliography here how many articles do i have the last one is this one 11 and this one this one uh haven't changed we need to change it okay so I, I put in the Harvard that all be the same. So now you see in the Harvard actually more. So I want to bring my bibliography, okay? Here, insert bibliography, done. Done. You want to change the style? It will change it. Came like this. Change the style to the APA or is the APA style, right? I don't know, American Sociological Association, Nature, right? All, all whatever style that you want, or it's not more style, okay? You, sh you can go and just get more style, whatever style that you want, right? Whatever style that you want, easily. These are the installed uh, by default, right? So you can easily just uh, have it, right? Whatever you want. Whatever. Okay. Right. So you see that it's very easy working with this uh, Mendeley software. I hope that you enjoyed uh, this presentation. Uh, this is the second series of uh, this presentation. Mass University actually have uh, so many different presentations throughout the, the year. So uh, I would encourage you to go to uh, Mass of Facebook. And normally you can find all the uh, all the lives actually on the Mass of University, right, Facebook. Uh,
Yes. So uh, yeah, on the Master University Facebook here. So you can go and see the upcoming live here. So all the webinars, <clears throat> you can have, uh, you can get reminder actually, right? So you can see all the, the lives here, right? On the, on the Master University here. So here we are now, we have our lives. So these are the upcoming lives that later you will have and you can, you can use. So, uh, <clears throat> Uh, very well, uh, what I would like to say is that please uh, kindly, uh, my colleagues actually uh, already post the uh, survey, the survey form, it's a Google form, actually survey Google form, that I would like you all to kindly uh, fill up the form. And if you have any comments, if you have any suggestion, please uh, uh, put it on the comments. I would be really appreciated. Your comments actually will improve our work, right? So we are looking forward to hearing from you all. And uh, once again, this is Dr. Sheen from the Faculty of Engineering and Belt Environment, Master University. Today is 30th June, 2020. We started this webinar on Mendeley for Advanced Research Application on 11 in the morning, Kuala Lumpur time, and now is at 12.31. So it's one and a half hour that I am with you guys, and I'm so thankful for you all uh, stay so long. I hope that this webinar was uh, helpful for you all. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. You can easily get in touch with us on Mass University. My email is ashinto at massa.edu.my so you can just easily get in touch with me if you have any question if you have any inquiries about the civil engineering uh, programs that we have uh, faculty of engineering and built environment master university welcome every new students all the researchers all the cooperation from all over the world we are having a signed mou with so many uh, industrial partner we have a very uh, powerful partnership in industrial uh, 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 section and the uh, Malaysian government. So uh, they support us very well. The Mass University uh, provide a very uh, well-equipped laboratory for the Faculty of Engineering and Belt Environment, especially for the civil engineering. I would like to invite uh, all of you after this, uh, for sure, uh, uh, pandemic situation to visit, pay a visit to Master University, especially the Faculty of Engineering and Belt Environment. Uh, and uh, we have also some, uh, uh, what is that, the, the open day, but it's a virtual open day that my colleagues, sometimes me and sometimes uh, other colleagues actually can show you uh, some part of the laboratories, classrooms, you can just easily see the uh, environment of the Master University, and I hope that uh, you all stay safe, put, and don't forget, you need to still, uh, the coronavirus actually is there. Please stay safe. Don't forget that the 22nd washing hand protocol is still there. You need to uh, have the social distancing, the, the physical distancing of the, at least one meter from any other in the society. So. I hope you all uh, pass through this pandemic situation. Stay safe, stay put. Wish you all the best. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you all. Thank you so much to join this webinar. And goodbye. <laughs>